Good day, everybody, and welcome to another edition of the Military and Foreign Affairs Network. I am your host, the Voice of Reason. Today, we are conducting another video on the war between the Russian Federation and Ukraine. Uh, normally on Sundays, uh, sometimes I make content, sometimes I don't. Uh, today, I decided to make a, a quick video. Uh, I, I thought it important to talk about what is happening in the North eastern sector of the conflict and this is very important so this northeastern sector and what i'm talking about today is running from bakhmut all the way to the north well north of seversk up towards kupiansk so what is happening on this northeastern quadrant well there is a build-up a massive build-up of russian forces running from kupiansk uh, south to Seversk, there is roughly 100,000 Russian forces. Probably a little bit more than that. In the south, east of Kramatorsk, within the vicinity of Bakhmut, north of Bakhmut, and just to the south of Bakhmut, we are seeing a buildup of well over 50,000 Russian forces. So running from Bakhmut all the way north to Kupiansk, we are seeing uh, roughly 150 to 160,000 Russian troops massing in this area. And if we measure the distance in terms of what we are looking at, so it's roughly 150 kilometers as the bird flies, we are seeing this massive buildup. Now, what is going to happen? Is this the preparatory phase of a major Russian offensive. It could be. It could be. However, at this point, I believe that the Russians are perfectly accepting the fact that the Ukrainians are going to continue to pour troops against these defensive barriers in perpetuity. And the, the Russians are going to have a much more efficient time destroying Ukrainian units as they attack these defensive barriers. Now, in conjunction with these 150,000 troops, we are seeing the buildup of over 1,000 main battle tanks, up to 2,000 armored fighting vehicles, armored personnel carriers, uh, MTLBs, BMP-2s, BMP-3s, BMDs, uh, what have you. We are seeing, again, a host of, of, of main battle tanks running from T-62Ms, T-72s, uh, T-72 Bravos, T, uh, uh, T-80s, uh, T-90s, T-90Ms, uh, the, the full gambit. So a very large force, and then an additional 1,000 pieces of heavy artillery and multiple launch rocket systems have been deployed from Kupians south to, towards uh, Bakhmut. But again, at this point, I think it's safe to say that, again, the Russians are okay with what is happening in terms of how the Ukrainians are launching these offensive operations. I believe at this point the Russians believe that they are going to sustain much less casualties and cause more damage to the Ukrainian military by having the Ukrainian military attack these very robust defensive lines. And it's continuing. Uh, in the south, we are seeing the continued buildup around Tokmak and the reinforcement of Russian forces. And we are not seeing this Ukrainian pocket expand or elongate in any way right now. And you have to wonder at what point are the Ukrainians going to announce that this offensive operation has failed or are they going to continue to expend forces in this sector? Difficult to say. But at the same time, we're going to continue to watch uh, what is happening both in the south along the Zaporizhia front and we're going to continue to watch this massive buildup of Russian forces that's taking place from Kupiansk all the way down to Bakhmut. It is very, very large. Uh, I will do another video very shortly. Uh, we will look at the composition 
of Russian forces that are massing from Bakhmut north to Kupiansk. And we'll continue to uh, provide analysis on the southern sector of the battlefront. More to come. Thank you for joining us today. Have a great Sunday, and we will talk again. Have a good day.